Greetings, YouTube. Diamond Wars 12 back again with another video. <clears throat> Here to give you guys a, well, not a rant, kind of a opinionated video. This is my, this stuff I'm about to talk about in this video is kind of my opinion about still certain issues. But first of all, I, I do want to say this. I'm going to give an RP to Doug Cornelius, the creator of Soul Train, the father of Soul Train. We all know yesterday he tragically took his own life. Um, don't know the circumstances as to why. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get, get way into it, but just, just want to say R.I.P. to him. He's a great man. He's always, he's gonna be always, he's always gonna be remembered. He's gonna be truly missed. So R.I.P. to Don Cornelius. <coughs> but um, what I want to talk about in this video is, well, the first thing I want to talk about this whole X Factor shakeup. Um, who y'all know recently? The X, well, two X Factor judges have been fired, and one, and the guy that hosts the show, I'm not gonna lie to you, thank God, um, has been has been fired. And his name's Steve Jones, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't really like Steve Jones. He sound seemed kind of corny to me, kind of corny. And it's not the fact that he's uh he's from Britain or whatever. He's from England or no. It's not that fact. It's not the fact that he was there. He in fact, uh, some people could some people complain that like, they couldn't understand him because of his accent. And I, for, for what I remember, um, the, um, this this lady named this um singer named Cheryl Cole, who actually judged the show in the UK, actually judged like the first part of the show here. But I think they fired her because they didn't they thought, thought her accent was too was too. She had too deep of an accent. With a British accent, but yeah, Steve Jones is gone, and Nicole Scherzinger is gone, and Paul Abdul is gone. Now, my problem with this is with Paula being gone is Simon. Now, I don't know. I really don't know if he had anything to do with the virus, so I'm not really putting my finger at him. But they gave her a shot. They gave Paula a shot because she had been on American Idol for years. But they gave Paula a shot. Well, because Simon did say something like. He was gonna get go, his next big project. He was gonna get try to get Paul, Paul involved, and his project was happened to be the X Factor. <coughs> you, got, you guys got the excuse. I'm a little sick right now, but uh, anyway, um, but yeah, I, my thing about that is wh why did he? Why did they hire her? Hire her then a year then after the show's over, they wanted to find her. And I also see some interviews where Nicole Scherzinger actually said she it was actually not it was uncertain whether she were or not that she had returned or not. And Nicole Scherzinger she can she can sing and she is a looker. She she's pretty pretty good looker. She she's a looker. But she to me was basically another Paula. Her and Paula on the whole her and Paula really had the they had the cry off. And I, I just wasn't fucking for all that. I mean, just the show. Don't just, I know. But think about it. This is, I, I feel for them, though. Because they got so emotionally attached to these artists on the show. But, um, well, it's, 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 it's sad in general to see them leave. But who I would like to see judge the show. This is some people, it's my opinion, who I like to see judge the show. Actually, I know Kevin and Mikhail from the Scorpion show. They said they actually like to see someone like Pink. Or, <coughs> or um, um, I forgot who else they said. Well, but, but Pink would be a pretty good fit for that. She would be kind of a good fit. But I, I would say they should go after, cause I think they really should go after some more big names just to get the ratings and go for a host. I think they should go out to get get like a big somebody that has credit credibility, has some fame to his name. That's basically is a star like cause be honest with you. No, you didn't. Who who really knew who Steve Jones was? Not unless you kept up with the show the UK version of the show. Unless you kept up with the UK version, you didn't know who Steve Jones was. Cause I think from what I hear, Steve Jones was the host in the UK. But like I'm saying, if you didn't watch the UK version of the X Factor, you didn't fucking know who who um you really did not know who Steve Jones was. I think they should go after someone like um an, I, I would like to see Neil Patrick Harris do it, or hell I would like to see Ron Seacrest do it because it, it, I think his 
Cause he, he I, don't, I don't know if he's going to return to Idol next, next year. I think his contract expires, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Or he might not return. I know someone he said he, it's a rumor out there that he might not be returning. But, hey, I, I like to see him come to X-Factor. <coughs> I think he'd be a good host of X-Factor. He, uh, he'll sure get ratings. But I also think, I mean, originally they had, they, they were going to have two hosts. Because originally Nicole Scherzinger was actually bought on to be a co-host to Steve Jones. Um, she was actually, she was originally bought on as a co-host to Steve Jones. But uh, Steve Jones was co-host. And then they, they, they fired Cheryl Cole. The uh, singer, British singer Cheryl Cole. They, um, they fired her. And, um, bought, um, they bought in Nicole Scherzinger as a judge, as mentor. So leaving Steve Jones... The hosting spot. But I actually heard before when X Factor was getting developed that um it was Nicole Scherzinger and Corbin Blue. That came out of left field to me. And I wouldn't I ain't gonna lie to you, I really wouldn't have been for uh, I mean, because <coughs> to be honest with you. Nowadays people are probably are like, Who's Corbin Blue? Now most people know him from the high school musical movies. And that's, they just know him as from that. The high school musical movies. Because he hadn't really done anything just big, anything just huge since high school musical. I mean, he's had some guest spots on some, uh, maybe some TV shows or whatnot, but I, I just wouldn't be for Corbin Blue being a judge next. I mean, not, not just a host on X Factor. Well, I know he, they say he, he was a, um, Candidate to be the judge on X Factor, not judge of the host on X Factor. Well, I don't know, man. I ain't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to judge him because Dude might have done a good job. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cool Blue may have done a good job. If he would have gotten a job on X Factor, he may have done a good job. Mm, I don't know. We'll never know. Now that they decide, now that they really just decide to get him to host this time. Which they probably won't. When I actually heard something like some shit like this, I actually heard that Nicki Minaj is actually, they're actually looking, not, from well, it's just a rumor that Nicki Minaj is rumored to be one of the people they're looking, they're looking for for the host. And I'm not fucking for that. I agree with you, um, Kevin on on the Scorpion from Scorpion show. I agree with you on that. I'm not for that. I really will not be for that at all. I will not be for. I don't feel like looking at damn. Pink, orange, green, blue, black, whatever the fuck color she want to have, red, whatever the fuck she want to have in her head. I'm not for all that shit. I'm not for seeing that every week. Not nothing against Nicki Minaj. But I, and I wouldn't want to hear her, hear her talking that uh, fake British accent she tries to talk to. Her. She's she's Roman. And, and I'm not going to lie to you. Looking at her stupid whole video, which just got banned from BET. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in a minute. I got a lot. I actually got a loss of words from that stupid whole video. Just be honest with you. And I was basically looking like, is this chick serious? I was like, Nick Minaj, what the fuck? Am I missing something here? Is cause we all know she's basically fucking calling Lil Kim a stupid hoe. I, I, we all basically know that's what she's fucking talking about in this, in this video, in this song in general. She's talking about Lil Kim basically. She's talking about she's probably talking about some more people too, but she's mainly talking about Lil Kim. But um, yeah. Before was her judging the X Fact, not judging, um, hosting the X Fact, or even being a judge on it, I wouldn't be for that. Hell no. But people, hell, people, will, they, they're trying to get ratings. People would watch it. People would really watch that. But, um, like I said, I'm not for that. I'm not for Nicki Minaj coming on there. And I heard, they said on Access Hollywood Live, actually, when this news broke about X Factor. That they would like to see, they, 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 they see someone, I could see someone like Dr. Dre. Mom, they, I know they had they had a, a rapper on the show last this past year with Astro, who I have yet to heard from, and I'm interested in seeing Melanie Morrow, a Melanie Morrow's or Super Commer Pepsi commercial during the Super Bowl. It's gonna air during the Super Bowl. I'm actually interested in seeing how what they're gonna do with that, but um, cause she's got she's the girl that won, but I anybody else on that show, where the fuck are they? Are, 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 I, I'm not wondering about this. Are they are they gonna do? A big world tour like American Idol. 
Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, American Idol is getting kind of lame to me. You know, American Idol is very is getting fucking lame. I'm just being honest. With you. I just I I I haven't really been tuning in to American Idol that much. I, it's just been getting lame to me. Be honest with you. Because there's so many shows out like this though. We got we American Idol originated, but we got now we got X Factor. We got America's Got Talent. We we got um we got, what's the other show we got. Um, dance shows like So You Think You Can Dance. I think that still comes on. <laughs> I mean, there's there's more. I mean, we got lots of shows like this now. But, um... Ah. Had a, I woke up. I got a, I had a crick in my neck, so... I had to get that out. But, um, anyway... But, yeah. I think most of the shows, shows like that are really putting American out of down. What hell, American Idol still is still one of the number one shows on TV. So what can I say? But um, wrapping this whole X Factor thing up, I don't know. Mariah Carey, is someone else who they said um is going to get who they might they they be looking at to get on um, be a judge or X Factor. I don't see that happening. Mariah Mariah Carey is still kind of a big star. She's still kind of a she still has credibility. She still has fame to her name, so she's still a big star. So. I definitely it'll be it'll be a good ratings boost, but I don't see that happening. I don't I don't think she, she don't seem like the type of person that I want that want to judge somebody from from their singing. But if you can't sing, it's a lot of people actually that say that um all the artists said that they they don't like they don't want to be in that position. They don't want to tell anybody that they can't sing. But I say it like this. I'm just gonna fast say it like this. If you fucking know you can't sing, why the fuck would you come on the show knowing your ass can't sing? That's just what I feel. <laughs> why would you come on the show knowing you can't sing? And I feel this way about people that come on American Idol and stuff like that. Why would you come on TV and embarrass stuff like that? I'm just being honest. Makes for, it does make for good TV. It does make for some good TV. True enough, it makes for good TV. But you know, I'm, I'm not really for all the people coming on there, knowing they really can't, thinking they can sing, but they really can't. I mean, have you really listened to yourself? But anyways, I'm interested in seeing who they're gonna get. They still have some in the LA read. No, they got they, they butt heads a lot, so it, it'd be cool seeing them good to see them butt heads again next season. But um, anyway. Another thing I want to talk about <coughs> is I'm about to basically fuck this go off. I'm sick of turning on the TV. So I'm basically going to switch gears. <coughs> I'm on basically turn up and up. I'm sick of turning I'm, I'm sick of fucking turning on the TV and fucking seeing beautiful black women and not just black but beautiful women in general arguing and fighting each other on these fucking reality shows. I'm sick of that shit. I'm sick of this shit, really. I'm literally sick of it. I mean, what happened to all the TV shows? What happened to TV shows? That's all I want to know. What happened to the TV shows? Are there not that many TV shows out now that we got, they got to show shit like this? I mean, I'm just shows like damn... The Real Housewives of whatever the fuck state or whatever the hell, um, whatever the hell, the um, city they're in, Atlanta, Beverly Hills, um, I think those are the two main popular ones, but there might be another one. But what what made me think about this is they're coming out with and shit like Mob Wives and Basketball Wives, which I hate, um, and Love and Hip Hop, shit like it. But, um, because all they do on those fucking shows is fight, is argue and fight with each other. But what what made me think about think about this, talk about this subject matter is, they're coming out with a new one from what I hear. It's going to be about women, a black version of mob wives. It's best going to be something like cocaine wives or BMF wives or something. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you, are you, I, I think it's going to be on VH1 too. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking serious? What the hell? Why the hell would you come out with some shit like that? For one, cocaine's fucking illegal. And I'm going to trust that if 
most of the husbands, like on mob wives, from what I hear about mob wives, most of the husbands are in jail. On the verge of going to jail. So I'm just basically saying, who the fuck would want to watch some shit like it? I want to watch the wives of big time cocaine dealers. And it's fucking shows like Drug Inked. That's fucking, I mean, uh, I just don't get that damn show shit like that. I just don't get it. How the fuck are they like... I mean, are they like paying the authorities off to show shit like that? Because the, these people, from what I... I don't, I've only like seen like one or two episodes of that show. And they actually really have hardcore drugs on, on these shows. I'm looking like, what the fuck? Why can't, we, why can't there be more TV shows? Be more TV pilots coming in. Why can't there be more of that? I mean, I, 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 I want a job in this industry. I want to be an actor. I want a job. I want to work in this industry. But, I, I see, it's just so many talented actors. I believe, like myself and countless others, so many talent, talented actors out there that are trying to get out, get their name out there, trying to get out there. But, they want to give TV shows to people, to people with the fucking name Mike the Situation. Damn all that Mike the Situation shit. I said, look, it's damn that. I only, I, every time I, I hear about Jersey Shore, I'll be like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is America coming to? What the fuck is this world coming to? That's how I, like, that's how I feel about it. What is this world coming to? I'm just saying. And excuse me for cursing so much, but stuff like this just kind of makes me mad. And when I get mad, I curse. I don't try to curse that much. It, when, I, when, I, when I'm, if you ever get to hang around me, I don't curse that much when I'm cool, I'm, I'm calm and cool. But when I get pissed off, when I get mad about something, I get the cursing. I'm, but I, I'm sorry about all the cursing. But yeah. I'm sick of going on TV and seeing. Oh, the, on the new season of the Jersey Shore. On this season on. Team Mom. Which I'm going to do a whole rant about that. I'm going to do a whole. A big long video about that. About the problems with that show. Because. <laughs> and one of the problems. One thing I'm going to talk about is. First of all, I think the people on the fucking show get pregnant. Some of them get pregnant to be on fucking TV. They they find out they're pregnant and they contact NTV. Or they plan to get pregnant to, just to contact NTV and to broadcast them on their show. But, I'm just sick of all this shit. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all these damn reality shows taking the place of real TV shows. I miss shows like back in the day, like when I grew up, before we had, back in the early 90s. Even I even go back and watch some like late, even watch some 80 shows like, 80s, 70s, 80 shows like Good Times and uh, All in the Family, you know, Sanford and Son, um, Facts of Life, Different Strokes, The Cosby Show. I mean, in the 90s, like shows like. Martin, the Wayans brothers, Friends, Seinfeld, um, there's something about Raymond. Not something about Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. I said something about Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. I'm just, I mean, those are classic TV shows. Now, we do, they're trying to get new TV shows. I know, like, Rob Schneider has a new show out now. They're trying to get new TV shows out. And black TV shows, we... And like I said, majority of these girls on these shows are like the um the basketball wives and the hip hop love and hip hop and stuff like that shit. Um people all these girls are black, just about. Um I know most of these girls are black. But I'm just I'm just sick of this. I'm sick of seeing um black women, mainly black women, on T V making asses out of themselves. We all see about them fight. Every episode somebody's into about the fight. But, um, I'm just saying, I'm not for all that. I mean, but, it like, shows, it sounds like BET, they're trying to bring black TV shows out. They're trying to. They're trying hard. But they're so less there together. Like I said, I'm not feeling it. I, I, I do try, I've tried to watch the show. I try to support it and try to watch it because I do believe we need more black TV shows on it. But it isn't, I'm not going to lie to you. If a show's not good, it's not good. I'm not going to lie. If it's not good, it's not good.
And I don't think it's good, to me, in my humble opinion. Some of you guys watching this video, you may like Let's Stay Together. You may like it. I personally don't. My mom likes it. My mama likes it. I personally don't. But, I, I just definitely, did, man, what else do I want to talk about in this video? I was like, I think that's just it. I was gonna, I really just mainly want to talk, just mainly talk about X Factor and give my RP to Don Don Cornelius and all that, and just read really the rant about um this this whole reality thing. Cause like I said, every time I turn, see the term on the TV, um, they're um that's why I get on the internet and I watch shows like I watch stuff like old classic TV shows and stuff like that. And now, like if a classic TV show comes on TV. I, in reruns, I watch it, and here yeah, that that's why I, that's why I watch stuff like it. But um, but let me say, this I, I'm sick of this whole reality TV thing. I really think it needs to decline. Like that, we need to get real TV shows out there. But that's it. That's all I have to talk about. This is Dommy Woods Twelve checking. Out. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. Um. My videos actually get a lot. People actually start to catch on to my videos. I'm getting a lot of views. I'm getting a good many views now. I like to for this time take my time, take this time out to personally thank anybody, everybody who's watching my videos. I mean, subscribe to my channel. I try to get a video out there every other day. I mean, subscribe to my channel. A lot of people like my PR, my Power Ranger videos. Like a lot of people like those videos. A lot of people, a lot of people really like the videos on like like this. I'm doing like the media related videos. People like like these, but. I'd like to personally thank you guys for watching my videos. There will be lots more to come. I, I'm just here to entertain you guys. Try to get, try to get you guys my thoughts about stuff and try to entertain you guys. I, I do this just strictly because I love it and because it entertain you guys. But thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't do, I, I just do these. I wouldn't be able to do these without people watching. Basically, I, I wouldn't continue to, if, if people weren't watching my videos. I wouldn't continue to do them. Well, I'll continue to do them because I like doing this, but. I just thank you guys for watching my videos. That's it. This is Dominic Woods 12 checking out. Peace. God bless. Goodbye.